Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I am the author of the young adult novel Essence and today I'm actually coming to you with a book haul. Surprisingly enough because even though I'm in college I accumulated all these books. Um, basically this little pile right here were the only ones I bought. All the other ones um, I still bought them but at a library sale so about 16 books only cost me I think ten or five dollars. I can't remember because me and my friend split the price. But um, I'm gonna start with the young adult novel pile section right here in front of me. Um, when I went home for the weekend, I went to see The Maze Runner with my dad. And after seeing the movie, I was just like, okay, now I have to know what happens. So I bought the entire box set. I just finished reading The Maze Runner yesterday, and now I'm on the Scorch Trials. So um, it's very different from the movie. Not in like a bad way, they both have their own little, you know, pros and cons. But the series is really good, I'm really enjoying it right now, so that's what I bought. And then I also got a copy of Where Things Come Back. And I'll be honest, I don't know what this is about, I've just been meaning to buy it for a while, I've heard good things, and as you can see it has two little awards, so it must mean something good. So that's on my list of books to read. And of course we have Requiem by Lauren Oliver, because I read Delirium and Pandemonium, and of course I had to figure out where it went from there, so I just had to buy the last book in the series. Finally, we have Waterfall by Lauren Kate, and... The, this is the second book in a series. I'm not sure how many books it's going to end up being, but the first one is Teardrop. And I'll be honest, I absolutely love this cover, but it looks nothing like the original cover of Teardrop. The original cover of Teardrops was gorgeous, and it had this girl, and it looked like the dress was made out of water. And then they changed it to, like, this face. And the first cover, which is Teardrop, was, like, a blue scheme. And this one is a purpley scheme. And I love the cover, like... Okay, there's the cover for Teardrop on the back, but that's not what the original cover looked like, and I honestly, I think this is gorgeous, but I just like the other one so much more. Anyways, that rant aside, we're going to move on to the ones that I got at the library. Over here, I have this pile of books that I think are about murders. I'll be honest, most of these, I don't really know what they're about. I know The Shack is really good because, um... My mom either read it or meant to read it or was recommended to read it by a friend and I think she liked it. So I got my own copy because it was like fill a bag of books for $5 so I just grabbed as many books as I could. So then we also have Skeletons, uh, Killer Takes All, and Bone Man's Daughter. And once again, I'm not really sure what these books are about. Um, I know they're about like a murder or something like that. but. I enjoy watching TV shows like that, so I figured I'd venture out into the book world with that genre and see how I enjoyed it. And here we have like a little various pile of books. We have the story of Edgar Sawtail. Now, I've actually already read this book, and I also already have a copy of it, but it's paperback, and I found the hardcover version for, at the library sale, so I was like, well, why not pick it up? Because basically it's free, because I already paid the $5 for the bag. Let's just see how many books I can stuff into it. So I got the hardcover version. It's a book I absolutely adore, and of course it's really thick, but I recommend it to a lot of people. And next we have A Bend in the Road by Nicholas Sparks. Now, I've never read a Nicholas Sparks story. I've seen a few of the movies. I don't really have much patience for pure romance, but I figured why not pick it up, see if I like it or not, and we'll see what goes from there. Uh, here we have Someone Else's Child by Nancy Woodruff. I, again, don't really know what it's about, but it's a short little story. I picked it up, read the synopsis, read the first page, and was like, hmm, doesn't seem bad, so I added it to my pile of books. The Divide by Nicholas Evans. I have no idea what it's about, but my friend recommended it to me when we were shopping for books, and I'm, I'm gonna hold this against her if I don't like it. And the last pile of little books we have are, like, I think they're gonna be sad books or heart-wrenching books, but the first one we have Precious and Fragile Things. Once again, I have no clue what it's about, but I saw the cover and I think I read the synopsis and I was like, oh, this doesn't look awful, so I'll pick it up. And this one, I just like the cover. Um, there's a puppy on it and then it's Meet Me at Mo Meet Me at Emotional Baggage Claim, so I figured I'll love the book. I don't even think I read anything of it. I just kind of assumed that I was gonna like it, so we'll see how that one goes. And last but not least, we have a memoir. We have The Window Down by the Book, um, a memoir of time gone by. 
and this one sounded sad, so I picked it up. Um, so yeah, this is what happens when the library has a sale, and I only have to spend $5 to get a whole bunch of books. I buy a lot of books that I have no idea what they're about, but I um, figured I'll add them to my own little personal library, and we'll see what happens. So if you guys know anything about these books, especially the ones that I don't know about, like the young adult books that I showed you at the beginning, I kind of know what those are about. But if you have any opinions on any of the other ones, or if you just want to tell me what you're reading right now, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm.